I have an amazing mother-in-law who is like so amazing and she's just she asks questions about my work and she's like she's curious about it and and she's respectful she's made me porn costumes before I had like a little Powerpuff Girl thing that I wanted to do and she sewed up costumes and she's just like very sweet like that so mm -hmm. so I've got three completely different uh, feelings but I, I understand it's it's not easy for everyone when their daughter decides to do porn yeah I get it yeah I totally get it I'm reasonable <laughs> right so you have a husband I have a husband is he in the industry no but we have made videos together okay yeah we were we were quite popular during COVID he would let me peg him which was really sweet <laughs> and he's like not even like a bottom guy he just let me do it um you know what <laughs> girls get yourself a man who will let you peg them <laughs> he's he's amazing in every way and also kind of nonchalant about what mm -hmm. i want to do mm -hmm. not in like a not in like in a detached way but in a yeah just a supportive yeah type of thing um also kind of i think why i'm quitting porn mm. i got married and it changed me Okay. Yeah. Okay. Married. So we are we are getting to that point in the conversation. <laughs> I just want to talk about it because I also have pictures to share. <laughs> yeah. 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 So I mean, this is this is definitely like the apex of the conversation that we were leading to. So I feel like this is a good segue. It was Quentin, but I'm not. I didn't want to make like a big announcement, but I did want a little bit of closure. Okay. This is my closure. Okay. <laughs> so tell us like what led you to that decision because I'm assuming it's not something that like happened overnight. No, definitely not. Um, my quitting process started. Definitely the second that I walked onto a set, I was thinking, okay, how are we going to get ourselves out of this? Um, I thought I was going to do a five-year plan, um, but it ended up being around three, which mm -hmm. I'm okay with. And So you never planned to stay in the industry for a long period of time? Uh, no, no. My motivation was just to make money and get out. Get out? out. Yeah. Fair enough. Fair enough. Um, that's not, hey, there's no shame in that. No. Right? I mean... That's what we're here for is to fucking make money, right? Make I mean, money. like, that's what a job is. I was like a small town girl from Missouri. I gotta get a little creative, you know, with, yeah. with my my moves here. Um, so, um, wait, what were we saying? We were talking about you <laughs> getting out of porn and your initial five-year plan that turned into a three-year plan. It's now a three-year plan. Okay, right. Um, I think it started in January. So I had this time without Speakler where I was just self-booking, and that mm -hmm. was cool and everything. And then that kind of started dwindling a little bit because you know you're not on the roster so now you yeah. have to go blah 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 reach out to people yeah okay so now I'm gonna shift towards just doing my own productions my mm -hmm. own only fan stuff and then that kind of that kind of then so it's from no studios to my own productions to okay only working with a certain amount of people to only filming with just myself and mm -hmm. then to ultimately just no more at all mm -hmm. so that's kind of where I'm at now my, my last shoot was a twisties true to the month Oh, okay. kind of hoping you would be there, Holly. I know. Uh, I'm sorry. Hmm. I, I, that was the last gig that I did back in <laughs> January. That was like, I was like the main photographer for like a decade. It's okay. I know. I'm sad, actually, because that was like the one gig that I loved. But it's okay. Anyway. <laughs> <laughs> um, okay. So. So, okay. So my quitting, my quitting process, it started uh, when I first started, mm -hmm. which was like, okay, how are we going to get out of here? And then I just had to like dwindle it down to something I was comfortable with. Cause I think if I were to just quit everything completely, I would have been too shocking and I would have mm -hmm. been scared. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So, so you're at the stage now where you're only shooting solo stuff for yeah. your OnlyFans. I even stepped away from OnlyFans. Okay. So you were like, I'm like done, this done, is, done. This is why I feel like I can actually have like a, maybe like a free conversation with mm -hmm. you. Cause before I was trying to just also be like April and how to, like on podcast how does she even sound like it's just, I, I i felt like i couldn't really be myself because i had to be a different version who was like i don't know cock hungry or something and yeah ma maybe that was actually never me mm -hmm. <laughs> i'm fine without it you know yeah i'll miss i'll miss the ladies though i mean ultimately <laughs> like you're creating a fantasy right so it's okay yeah. if you're not that person exactly like yeah you know but I mean, it depends on whatever you're comfortable with. So now you feel like you can come on and you can be yourself and you can say like, you don't have to be worried about anything that's gonna damage your career. Right. Cause you're done. Cause I'm done. Right. I don't have to worry about like um, offending a large group of men who think that maybe, I don't know. They'll, they'll, their feelings will get hurt if I'm not like super horny all the time. Yeah. I'm actually not horny ever. Sometimes, sometimes <laughs> in the mornings and then it fades off during the day, but that's it. So how did you like, <laughs> prep yourself for scenes then you just kind of do you just go in there with like a work horse mindset like yeah. I'm just gonna do the positions I'm gonna make the noises I'm gonna do the faces like I think so I think maybe I was kind of a, a, a bad porn star in in that way because I did keep it pretty clinical <laughs> I 
I mean, I wasn't ever, I never even considered um, um, kind of loving up on my scene partner beforehand. Mm -hmm. Like, I, I never wanted to connect with him that way. I just kind of wanted just to get down to it. And, but that doesn't mean that I was like ever rude. I think there's a way that you can, um, you can warm up your partner without touching or mm -hmm. even being sexy, just being friendly to somebody. Mm -hmm. I, I think that's all you need to do and then get to work on the scene and mm -hmm. the cameras are rolling. Mm -hmm. So I don't know. I, yeah, I wasn't ever super horny, but when I was in the moment, I was definitely in there. Might as right. well. Might as well. I'm already there. Right, right. Might as well, <laughs> as well enjoy yourself. Fuck it. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, but yeah, before that, all business. Hey guys, if you want to support my show, then you should think about joining my Patreon. At my Patreon, I offer all kinds of amazing perks in exchange for your financial support. From live streams of my interviews as they are happening, to bonus Q&As, behind the scenes photos and videos of my shoots, plus cool merch like stickers, mugs, and hoodies, we have you covered. So go to patreon.com slash hollyrandallunfiltered, and while you're at it, make sure that you click that subscribe button so you don't miss a single one of my new updates.